The Bois is an African society that is native to Burkina Faso. The society has an approximate population of over 300,000 persons. The Bois people live in a number of individualized communities. They have no central government and rely on their community standards. They are most known for their scarification and elaborate plank mask. In the 18th century, Bois lands were occupied by the Bamama Empire who made the Bois pay taxes. The places left unconquered were raided by the Bamama, which led to a weakening of the Bois social and political systems. In the 19th century, the Bamama declined and the area was dominated by the Fulani who raided and enslaved the Bois and stole their livestock. The end of the 19th century brought French mercenaries who used the Fulani to help control the area. The Bois traditions of storing crops for use in uh, lean years were undermined by the crippling taxation systems of the French and they suffered further from famine from 1911 to 1913. The French demanded military recruits from the Bois and in 1915, the Bois were voted, starting a Volta Bani War. This war lasted about a year and ended with the destruction of many Bois villages. Earlier European explorers to the area called the Bois Bobo, confusing them with their neighbors, the Bobo people. Although the two groups share religion and culture, they are ethnically distinct. The confusion led to the alternative names for the Bois, including Bobo, Aluye, or Eastern Bobo, and Jula, Bobo Oluye means red Bobo. This distinguishes the Bois from the Bobo, who are called the black Bobo. The white Bobo, Bobo Gibi, are also Bois. The southern Bois became known by their neighbors as Nigu, meaning scarred Bois, as a result of their tradition of scarification of their faces and bodies. This practice is no longer commonplace and so the term is also in decline. The Bois speak Bois languages, a closely related group of girl languages of the Niger Congo family. Some speak Jula for trading and communication with outsiders and French is also used. The creator deity of the Bois is known as Ruwo a god who designed the earth with the intention of establishing balance. Wuro was said to be hurt by a human, and in return, he decided to send his eldest son, Duo, to act as the communication line between he and the people. Wuro had three sons, Duo, the god of rebirth, Soxo, the god of wilderness, and Quer, the lightning god. Two when his significance is heavily depicted in the Bono Bois ceremonial leaf mask, and animism is the main religious belief practiced by the Bois. In fact, the artwork the Bois are known for is primarily used for animist practices, specifically that of Nuno origin. Nuno practices still hold firm in the Bois culture. In relation, there's a group called the Cult of Do or Duo. They are led by the village's eldest male member, the Labi, also known as the Earth Priest. With that being said, they are also adopted both Islam and Christianity as a result of their prior invasions. While the Bois are famous for their mask, it is the purpose behind the pieces that provides the real significance. Using these masks along with scepters and diverse body adornments, the Bois will dance and perform these items in representation of different spirits. Those Bois members who have gone through initiation, a process of transitioning from a child to an adult member of society are grouped together in age grades. During ceremonies, they are doing a praise, the masks that are being performed as a group. It is also important to note that these mass performances are not gender specific. Women are very much a part of these events, just as much as their male counterparts. The Bois masks are usually black and white, 
Additional colors are subject to individual carvers and their styles. Animal depictions are a common attribute of their works. Plank masks are also the most known style of mask for this society. They are vertically shaped and attached to a disc-like base. Decoration is subject to change, but it mostly comes down to zigzag squares and circles. The bois also make horizontal and heterogeneous masks. Heterogeneous masks have an avoid head with round and or diamond eyes. Sometimes the artist will choose to add on designs such as crescents or human figures. The Bois are well known for their use in traditional tribal masks. There are several types of masks produced by the Bois that are used in traditional rituals. In particular, the Southern Bois are known for their tall plank masks known as Natinta and tend to use wood to make their mask. This is a result of their adoption of Nuna religion and their traditions of using wooden masks. The religion associated with wooden masks is focused on the spirit line, whose power is manifested through the wooden mask. And Tintua can also be made of polychrome by the blacksmiths. Built in horizontal shapes, these masks can represent different animals and have specific designs. For example, a butterfly mask would have uh, concentric circles, while a hawk mask would have a plain white surface. These masks are worn by female entertainment. The Northern Bois use leaf masks more than wooden ones. These leaf masks frequently represent Dwo in religious ceremonies. The mask also represents the bush spirits, including serpents, monkeys, buffalo, and hawks. Mask performances generally take place in dry seasons between February and May.